Hi there and welcome to bnd.biz. My name is Alan Thorne and in this video we're going to take a look at colliders. You know, somebody once asked me, how can I tell if a point is inside a collider? Now that is a brilliant question well expressed. The answer is not so easy it turns out, but in this movie we're going to see exactly how we can tell if a point is inside a collider using the Unity engine. Okay, so our mission in this video is to figure out if a point is inside a collider. And I'm not talking about any particular collider here, like a box or a sphere. I'm talking about any collider at all, not a particular type. So pretty much any kind of collider we could access from the component menu here by choosing physics and then selecting the collider type. Is a point inside that collider? Now this is really useful to know in so many different areas. You might have an object, you might be creating a puzzle game and you want to know if the player has maneuvered the destination piece into the final collider. You might be trying to detect whether the player is drawing out a particular path and you need to know if the different points on that path intersect various areas. There are all kinds of reasons why you might want to test if a point is inside a collider and we're going to see exactly how to do that. Now to demonstrate this I've created this really basic scene here and it really is a basic scene. I mean we have a main camera, we have a directional light, that we have this collider object and I've chosen to demonstrate this using a capsule collider simply because it's not the most straightforward type like a box or a sphere, it has more diversity to it. And then we have this point object here, which is basically a sphere with the collider component removed, and this is just standing in for a point inside the scene. The only reason we have this object at all is to read off the position values from the X, Y, and Z field here inside the transform component. That's all this object is for. So I want to figure out if this object is inside the collider. Now you'll notice also there is a visualization here, a line drawn between the point to the collider, and that's being created by the point tester script. I'm going to just double click on that script to open that here inside Visual Studio to take a look at this. And the only reason we have this is to visualize where the point is in relation to the center of the collider. I'm using the onDrawGizmos function to set the gizmo color, in this case blue. That's going to be the color of the line. And then the draw line function is going to draw a line from point A to point B, from the center of the collider to the point of the object. Pretty straightforward stuff. So I'm going to go back to Unity because we're going to create a completely new script file to test if the point is in the collider. Now the way this actually works is, for example, let's take the point here. I'm just going to move that inside the collider and up just a little bit and then select the collider. Now we can see visually that this point, the center of this sphere, is indeed inside this collider. What is the distinguishing feature that marks this from being on the inside to the outside? And it really comes down to this and this alone. If we were to cast a ray or to draw a line between the center of this collider and the point of this object here, if it does not intersect the collider itself, the outside, if there's no physical intersection between these two endpoints of the line, if there's no collision, then the point is inside the collider. But of course, if I move the point outside the collider, so we end up with a situation like this, you can see now that the line between the two points intersects the collider, and so the point must be outside. These and this alone is a distinguishing feature between determining if a point is in or outside a collider. Now there are some exceptions to this and some cases where this really will not work. I'm going to get to those shortly but I'm going to go back to Visual Studio to create a new script file that will implement this functionality. So I'm going to move to the project panel 
right click, choose create, and then choose C sharp script. And I'm simply going to name this Collider Utility. I'm going to name this or create this as a static class with a static function. So we can call upon this anywhere in our script files to determine if a point is in a collider. I'm going to delete all of the code that's in here and get to work straight away by creating this function here. So I'm going to call this is point in collider and it's going to take two arguments and they're both going to be vectors. The first one is effectively the center point of the collider in the scene in world space and the second argument is going to be the location of the point that we're testing for and we're going to be returning simply the inverse of a lying cast because we know that if a collision does happen, if a line cast returns true, then it, it should return false to indicate that we are not in the collider and true when we are. So we're doing a line cast between point C and P. I'm going to save that code here and then go back to this script file to our point tester. Now this script file is tagged as execute in edit mode, which means that it's going to run even when we're not in game mode, it's going to run live in the editor. This script is attached to the collider. So I'm going to add a new property here just to determine are we in the collider or not. So that's going to be a bool is in collider. Initially set to false, but we're going to be using the update function to check for that. So is in collider equals and then we'll add that to our collider utility that we've created is point in collider and effectively our two points are going to be these two points here the point position and the center of the collider I'm going to save that code here and minimize that we don't need to attach our collider utility to anything because it's a static function so it can run from absolutely anywhere I'm going to select our collider object, that is the capsule collider here. And we can see already from the inspector that it says right now, you are not in the collider. That's great, that's correct. But what if we now just lock the selection for this object, grab our point, and then move this inside the collider. You can see that when we do this, the moment we enter the collider, this turns to true, I'm going to just drag that outside. And once again, this point, the center has just moved outside and now it's false that we're in the collider. Let's bring this down here and move this in just a little bit. And you can see again, we are inside the collider. So this is perfect. Let's give this a try with a different shape collider. I'm going to remove the capsule collider component and this time I am going to, uh, let's apply, for example, a box collider to this so I can grab this and take a look at the box collider. Once again, we can see from the point tester that we are not inside the collider. I'm going to grab the point and then move that pretty close to the box. And ta-da, you can see here that now it's registered as being inside the collider. Let's grab the point and move that off. And there we are. We've just left the collider. And now we know, yes, you are no longer inside the collider. So that pretty much is it. I'm going to bring back the collider utility code. That pretty much is all we need to do to figure out if a point is within a collider. Now, the limitations of this function, what are they? This code is only going to work for convex colliders. That is colliders that don't fold in on themselves. This includes boxes, spheres, capsules, cylinders, but it does not include things like stars or objects and colliders with holes in them. It doesn't include mesh colliders. Any colliders that can bend and contort and fold inwards, these kind of colliders will not support testing in this way they are a whole more complicated kettle of, kettle of fish, basically. So in this case, this point testing code will work for convex colliders. But in many cases, for physical interactions, 
you will be using these primitive types of colliders to approximate collisions anyway. So this is exactly what we need and is the simplest case. So there you have it. That is how to test if a point is inside a collider. I hope this has been helpful. My name has been Alan Thorne and you've been watching bnd.biz. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and to check out the range of tutorials that we have available.